Hi guys, morning. I'm not sure you can tell, but so this um some of them it you see the corner like uh, not paint really well there, so I'm gonna repaint that again. So after this, I'm gonna seal with my Posh. If you don't want to seal with my Posh, you want to use like finish spray to seal the paint, so the um, the paint will stay longer. You know what I mean? This protect is not fall off so easily. Same thing with people that that do um painting. They do furniture. They they do uh finish work to get the spray, it. so the paint stay uh, much longer. You know what I mean, right? If you don't know, just pretend you do. That helped my feeling. <laughs> so I'm gonna do all of these and I will be right back. Yeah, okay. So what I'm doing right now is coat the pen with the small pouch to seal it. You guys have any finished spray, you guys can use this too since I don't have it. So I'm gonna use this. And remember that my part is really sticky glue, so you want to use um, e-wax or candle to rub it to make like a smoother to slide in and out your drawer, okay? Sure, what wrong with you to block me in? I uh, lock me out all the time, guys. I'm not happy about this guy. Because then, when doing the upload videos, that's problem, guys. No, I my pain is not good. It's kind of very rough. But it's alright. I do it for me. I'm not sure I'm gonna give to anybody. Depend on how pretty that is. <laughs> So I painted all this already called my patch guys and with this too. Isn't that pretty color guys? <laughs> I love it. I don't think I see all the way up that one. I don't think I see this one all the way up, guys. I can feel it because you touch the pain and the mop patch, you feel different right when you touch it. I don't know how I can how 
I miss all those bad guys, <laughs> really. This one up. So now, so um, I'm gonna use my candle. This candle you can get a dollar tree. It's called you what? A twenty five cents. We cut it came in set of four. So it's only twenty five cents each. So you don't have to buy expensive wax. my mop had dry yet but I'm gonna let this one dry more guys okay so I did my patch this so I'm gonna try to I think I'm gonna have to cut my candle well not coming to the stick though coming like this that's not good I still use rough riders anyway. Just a better feeling, though, guys. I like it. How to wipe it up after she wax it. bigger slot than the my slide door. See this one? You can really see the gap there is but after I use the rub the candle it's really good. But this one have more gap there you can see. 
this is a smaller drawer than this, but looking pretty good. So I like it. Anyway, even though the big, um, this did have more speed, but if you use the mop part, if you not use the rough with the candle, it will stuck because it the mop part is glue guy. So I'm going to do all the off the camera and I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. So after I rub all my candle, so sliding it out easy. Now time to pick the paper. Now I changed my mind. I thought I might use that one. I might use this one here guys. I think I can see it have the yellow paper down there. I do uh, have this in my store selling this if you guys interested in. Let me see. I'm not sure I want that. Or a honeycomb that I told you guys. I think this one might be better choice. See, this one really good too, guys. See that? Kinda like um, when taste the music notes stand form. This one pretty too. And also the lady, I'm not sure. I might cut her out. So I'm debating here guys, I might use each different papers. Um, I'm, uh, let's see if we can choose this one on the back. And then I can use this one. Uh, Side maybe not sure. Let me see the other option. Oh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use this honeycomb here. Yeah. I'm not sure this should be in the front or not. I think. Or it should be on the side. So we'll get on the back, and this is. Side and I need one more choice of paper. Mm -hmm. I like this one too. Let's see. I can't pick up my mind, guys. I like it blue too. And her. Should have used her on the back. Okay, I might use her on the back and this one be in the front, I think. And this one will be on the side. Yep. I don't want to look too much, otherwise I will never, you know, pick up my mind which one I want to do. So this one going to be the front drawer here. 
Let's see if she going to be right there. Um, you know what? I can fussy her cut and hear her later if I don't like this paper. Let's do that. Pick another paper and I will cut her out. I think I'm going to use this one here. Yep, I'm going to use that one. I'm thinking I either I think I'm gonna have to paint that one or I'm gonna cut um, the paper this not gonna cover the whole thing there I don't think oh do I well yeah I'm gonna cover this one I'm gonna start to fall off. Take that one out. So, yes, I'm gonna measure this and I'm gonna leave like a border. So, I need my ruler. Because this one is four and a half, so I'm gonna cut the paper four and a quarter. Not, I'll write it down before I before I forget four and a quarter this one is ten and a quarter so it's gonna be ten inches that I'm going to cut by ten For the side that I want to use this one, because this one is three and a quarter, gonna be three inches by. So this one will be nine and three quarter. Alright, you need two pieces of this. And for this one it in the front. So I still haven't decided yet that if I want to use this right there or not. Oh I don't have to guys. Or I can use paper to cover the front and then use this. Didn't like to do that though. I'm not sure. Um, but I'm gonna cover anyway. If I do change my mind, I still can cover this side too. But. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this one first, the paper. This one a little bit odd number because it look like a 4118. So it'll be 3 and 7, 8 then. So this one will be one and a half. Now I'm gonna go cut this off camera, and I will be. Okay, guys, I'm back. I 
cut fussy cut this hair there and I love this one I you know cut out a piece and let me show you guys how I did this one that you know for the hand pull tab what it is I simply put on my piece there on the center where my paper going to be right but we're going to thread on the hand pull there so I mark with my marker whatever you want so you see the line and then I'm going to use the circle punch this one one and a quarter so and I'm gonna cut deep into a little bit like one eight inch because it's gonna be like a border okay so that see that it so I very bad at cut half circle by scissor so it's just a bad idea for me but this is a good idea for me that I don't make a you know I always mix to cut something like not straight so I'm going to just stretch all the edges here So I use the antique liner. This just in there. So now we're going to my my montage. So I'm going to. So I don't think I'm gonna use the, the handle after all, after all this. I don't think I will. And I'm gonna close it with my part. Eat a chunk of glue, that's not good. Pretty good so far, guys. Did the chunk of candle there.
line that one up the drawer because so I forget which one is which supposed to be on the top or the bottom drawer. It's looking pretty good way so far. I like it. I love the color though. Let me put this one right there and I'm going to move to this one. So now I'm going to be this one will be on. Oh I forgot to paint this one guys. I need to paint that before I get that paper. dry but I'm going to um, use this one on this side you know you you really could go better than me okay guys because this I didn't use a good glue and this is not a here well well guys it's, it's not good just don't use this glue Just use a uh, better quality glue, guys. So I'm going to let's see where all my brushes go. This one off the camera. I'm gonna coat with my Mod Podge. I think this one a little bit too wet and create the bubble. Looking pretty good today. 